this section, 3.3, we're going to divide polynomials. And we can divide polynomials by long division, but in the interest of time, we're only going to divide polynomials by shortcut known as synthetic division. If you want to know how to divide by long division, you can ask me for additional resources or go online. But that should have been covered in a previous course, and we don't need to know how to do it for this course. Okay? When you're using synthetic division, the divisor must be in the form of x minus c. Let me give an example of what I mean by that. So let's say I have this problem. Dividing polynomials. Your divisor must be in the form of x minus c. This value here is my c value. Okay, so c equals 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take that 3, and here I'm going to show you what synthetic division looks like. I'm going to do a couple examples so you get used to doing this. But I'm going to go ahead and put the 3 there, and then I'm going to take the coefficients of each of these terms. There's 1, 4, negative 5, and 5. So 1, 4, negative 5, and 5. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drop um, the first value down, and I get 1. So I take 3 times 1, and I put it right here. Okay, so I get 3. Then I add the 4 plus 3 to get 7. Then I take 3 times 7 to get 21, I put that right there. Then I add these two values, and I get 16. Then I take 3 times 16, and I get 48. And then add these values, I get 53, and this 53 is my remainder. Okay. What we're going to do is, these values here tell me what the um, answer is to my division problem here. So I'm going to take this, and you're going to go one um, degree less than the first term there. So here my first term is this, so my one is going to go right here. So I end up with... 1x squared. The 7 goes right here, so I get minus 7x, I mean plus 7x. And I get the 16 goes right there, I get plus 16. And the remainder is 53, so it's 53, so plus 53 over my divisor, x minus 3. Okay. Again, I'm going to go ahead and raise this 1 right here because it's not really necessary, but I want to show you that this 1 goes right there. Let's do a couple more examples, and I think after you do a couple of these, you're going to get the pattern. Okay. In this example, um, they mistyped something. I have to tell my publisher that they mistyped this. In my notes, this is correct. This should be a plus sign right here. Okay. We're going to divide x squared plus 10x plus 21 by x plus 3. So my x plus 3 goes out of here. And I'm going to go ahead and divide it by x squared plus 10x plus 21. Okay. So in this case, my c value is negative 3. So c equals negative 3 because I want x minus c. So c must be negative 3. So this negative 3 goes down here. I'm going to go ahead and put 1, 10, and 21. That comes from 1, 10, and 21. Drop down the first digit. I drop down the 1. So negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. So I add those together, I get 7. Negative 3 times 7 gives me negative 21. So I add these together, I get 0. So I have no remainder there. Okay, I'm going to have my publisher fix this. So if you're watching... Um, this and my publisher fixed it, there might not be a mistake there anymore. Um, but maybe our new edition will have the plus on there. Okay. Anyway, so now I'm going to go ahead and look at my answer. Well, this 1 goes right here. So I have 1x or x. And this 7 goes right here. So I get plus 7. And there's my answer. There's no remainder. Okay, so what this really means is x plus 3 times x plus 7 equals x squared plus 10x plus 21. Okay. So this 
divided by this gives me this, or this times this gives me that. So note, I know that that's true. Okay. Let's do example four. Using synthetic division, divide 5x cubed plus 6x plus 8 by x plus 2. And one thing to know about this problem is, and I haven't mentioned this before, is this is missing a term, missing the x squared term. Look at all the other problems, all your terms were in order. x squared, x, then no x. Okay. x cubed, x squared, x, and then no x. Well, this example 4 is missing a term. So we got to go ahead and replace that. So we're really going to, or not replace it, but put a placeholder. It's the same thing as 5x cubed plus 0x squared plus 6x plus 8. We're going to divide it by x plus 2. Okay. We have x plus 2 and we're dividing it by, or 5x cubed plus 0x squared plus 6x plus 8. We're going to divide it by x plus 2. In this case, my c equals negative 2. So I have negative 2 here. I have 5, 0, 6, and 8. We net 0 is going to hold that place value right here. I'm going to drop down the 5. So I have 5 here. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10. That goes right there. I add these together and I get negative 10. Negative 2 times negative 10 is 20. Add these two together and I get 26. And negative 2 times um, 26 is negative 52. And I add these together and I get negative 44. So my answer is going to be this 5 goes 1 uh, place value less than the original problem. So it goes right here. I get 5x squared minus 10x plus 26. And I got those numbers from right here. Then we have the minus 44 over x plus 2. Later on, we're going to wa not want this remainder at all, so we're going to talk about it later in, in a, another section, but for now, we're going to have some remainders in our problem. Okay. Let's try the next one on your own. Go ahead and pause the video, and then when you restart the video, we'll check your answer on this one. Okay, so I got my answer to be x squared minus 2x minus 3. Well, I divided this by this. And remember that this times this equals this. Okay, then we'll look at that more in the next section. Okay. Let's do more practice here, and I'm going to go ahead and work these out with you, and we're going to go ahead and do more synthetic division. So here I have, um, my C is 2 here. So I have 2, 1, and negative 10. Again, I'm not missing any terms here. I drop down my 2, so I get 4, 5, 10, negative 0. So my answer is going to be 2x plus 5. Okay. So this right here, this times this should equal that. Let's double check that. So 2x squared plus 5x minus 4x minus 10. So 2x squared plus x minus 10. So that is the same thing. So there's my answer right there. And notice how I skipped this step right here. I didn't write this out. But if you do need to write this out, please feel free to write this out. Okay. The next one I have c equals negative 5. So I have 3, 7, and negative 20. Again, I'm not missing any terms, so I don't need to place value at all. To hold a place value. Drop down to 3. I get negative 15. I get negative 8. 40, it gives me 20. So I get um, 3x minus 8 plus 20 over x plus 5. Okay, and the next one I have my c value is 1. And I'm not missing any um, terms. I don't need to hold a place value at all. I have 4, negative 3, 3, and negative 1. Drop down the 4. So 1 times 4 is 4. If I add those together, I get 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Add those together, I get 4. 1 times 4 is 4. Add these together, and I get 3. So I get um, 4x squared plus x plus
plus 4 plus 3 over x minus 1. And the next one I have c is 2. Now I am missing the place, but I'm missing the um, x to the fourth term. I think the only one missing. So I have 6. Um, I'm missing the x to the fourth term. I get a 0 there. Minus 2. 4. x. 4, I mean. 4, negative 3, and then 1. I'm going to drop down the 6. 2 times 6 is 12. Add these together, I get 12. 2 times 12 is 24. Add these together, I get 22. 2 times 22 is 44. Add it together, I get 48. 2 times 48 is 96. Add it together, I get 93. 2 times 93 is 186. Add it together, I get 187. So my answer should be 6x to the 4th plus 12x cubed plus 22x plus 48, uh, I'm missing my thing, my bad, plus 22x squared, I missed a term there, plus 48x plus 93, and my remainder is plus 187 over x minus 2. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here, come around time, I have two more examples that I want to do. Um, so if you need more practice on that division, this is what we're going to do a lot of um, in this section and the next section and I think a couple more times for the end of this um, chapter. So make sure that you understand how to do these. Um, I went ahead and did the practice problems with you, but um, you'll do more of them in your assignment or homework.